28 years have passed. The city of Starkville has grown, but this story still strikes a chord with people in the community. There are very few people still here from the 90s, but now we're all hearing about it for the first time and going, wow, wait, this happened here? How could this happen here in Starkville? It's a crazy thing to happen in any small town, especially right across the street from somewhere that you work now. Locals say they're glad there's been a big break in the case. Uh, we're really happy that the guy got arrested. That's, you know, we're really happy to see one the victims win. So you know, this is great for their families and the whole community to know that the, the police are still actively pursuing things and doing their job. Starkville police have been working to find answers since the brutal crime happened here inside this home. And it really is just a senseless murder, but I'm glad that the police have kept up with it and kept trying to solve it after all these years. The owner of the house allowed WCBI to go inside. Investigators believe Betty Jones was murdered just inside the front door, and Catherine Crickler was assaulted in what once was her bedroom. Mrs. Crickler managed to crawl to the phone and pull it off the hook to call 911 giving crucial information to detectives. Residents say they hope the family gets justice. We're just really happy that, that he did get caught and that we can put this to rest. And the people that were suspected to be maybe part of this crime, their names can be cleared.